how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. We are here at Goodwood. This is my first time for a very, very long time at the Goodwood Festival Speed. I told the whole story about uh, my last time here in a video, two videos back. But we are currently at the McLaren sort of private garden area, which is my favorite place right now that I've seen so far at the Goodwood Festival Speed. Good food, uh, plenty of stuff to uh, hydrate yourself with. <laughs> and uh, yeah, genuinely just a, a nice vibe. We've been hanging out here, but seeing as this is my first time at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, I thought what we do is do an experience kind of the Goodwood video, the Goodwood uh, Festival of Speed video. So we're gonna take you around, show you all the different places you can go and bring you along on my first experience at the Festival of Speed. So walking out of the McLaren Garden area into the main stand where they have some cars displayed. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And there are some insane cars here. As soon as you walk out, F1, there's a 720S down there. We've got 570S, GT4s and this, the new 570S Spider. So this is kind of where you can see all the newer cars, have a look around them, and it's just pretty special really. So we're gonna go from here down towards the supercar paddock with our bunch of really, really cool cars. So let's head down there. There's a bunch of random entertainment things here as well. So there's a little band that are playing music there. So we couldn't really film while they were playing music because you wouldn't be able to hear anything. But then also this is the main house, the Goodwood house, where Lord March lives. And effectively this whole event is in someone's garden, which is pretty mad. And this house is unreal. I don't even know the figures of how many rooms and everything. But... Oh, there we go, the music started up again. But no, it's pretty crazy. So to, thought, to think that all of this is happening in his garden is just pretty insane. Here's another angle of the house. As you can tell, it's pretty mad. I don't know who gets to go on the balcony there, probably all the family and everything. But this is the main walking area. As you can tell, there are tons of people who just walk around. And then right there is actually the track. So the Goodwood Hill. So throughout the day, they send different race cars, classic cars, and modern supercars and new releases up the hill to set their lap times. And you can tell something's going past. There's a big screen for the public to watch on. And then down a bit further is the supercar paddock. Well, as we're walking towards the supercar paddock, we've come across this area with loads of old cars and just genuinely legendary cars. For example, this is the originator of my favorite car in the whole world, which is the Zonda 760. This right here is the Pagani Zonda C12S. Now this car was built way back, like way over 10 years ago and is absolutely stunning and is the originator of the whole Zonda sort of uh, concept and legendary car. So there's a bunch of other cool cars. There's an F1, there's a Carrera GT, Bugatti Veyron. There are so many really nice cars here. Bugatti have a very particular stand here. They've got a bunch of Veyrons from the WRE, the World Record Edition Super Sport Coupe. They've got the WRC, the World Record Edition Vitesse, so convertible. And then anything cool to Pure Sangs, the original 16.4 liters. And then now, also the brand new Chiron right there, uh, which is absolutely awesome. There's one also going up for test drives in a similar spec, just with blue wheels. And it is just out of this world. To see this many Bugattis, I mean, there's just millions. There's what? There's two Chirons or three Chirons of the one in the paddock, another Vitesse over there. There's probably about 10 Bugattis here. Where else do you see that? This right now is the supercar paddock. And this is where all of the most exclusive modern supercars basically are kept, all the newest cars, all the new releases and all of that stuff. So it's where all of the stuff that we love is and all of these twice a day drive up the hill. Unreal to see, we were lucky enough to go up in a P1 GTR in an FXX and then back down in an FXXK. So, why don't we show you around? So this is not only my favorite car here at Goodwood, this is my favorite car in the world. Zonda 760, this thing is an absolute beast. Naturally aspirated, super limited, is out of this world. So to be able to come here and see one of these is crazy. But, I mean, we're gonna start big. We're gonna start with the favorite and then it's basically downhill from here. But I mean, look at it. And the spec on this one is awesome.
Well, this is the Festival Speed Air Area, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Basically, so they have helicopters, little planes, they have a bit of everything. So you can come over here because Festival Speed isn't only about cars. There's bikes, dirt bikes, uh, helicopters, planes, old cars, new cars. There's a bit of everything. So what we're going to do now is go out of our area of expertise, which is the cars, and explore helicopters and aeroplanes. For example, right here, what seems to be a small propellered private jet. You probably can't really hear me, but we figured seeing as it's showing you around Goodwood, the best way to do that is from above. So we're gonna hop onto a helicopter and show you what Goodwood looks like from the sky. It's pretty crazy. I'm gonna get into the stories. We're taking off. Right, we got a little souvenir photo, which is kind of cool. And now we are going to head up and explore more of, uh, of Goodwood, but it was so cool to see it from above. See how when you're in Goodwood, it feels absolutely massive. When you're in a helicopter, a helicopter that you big. see that it's not that big, right? Yeah. Um, but no, that was crazy. I hadn't been, <laughs> I've only been in a helicopter once before, and that was ages ago. So the whole experience of being in that was, was pretty epic. And it was just to show you the full experience of things you can do at Goodwood. And now we're walking into here, which is the Rolling Motor Show, um, which is actually where Maserati, Ferrari, it's kind of like a moving uh, motor show, as it's called. So this is your classic cars being displayed on stands. You can look around all the newest cars. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's Porsche, there's Aston Martin, there's all the big guys, really. And uh, this is where it all goes down. Despite this being like a really cool area, the main cool thing about Goodwood is you see cars moving. So this is not the most exciting place in the world because all the cars are sort of stopped, but you do have some nice cars like this, the exclusive series Porsche Turbo S, which I'd never seen before. Um, but you know, where we were earlier in the supercar paddock, that's where you can hear them, see them moving and stuff. But then around this end, we actually have the start line of the racetrack. And this is where you can see old cars, F1 cars, everything, new cars, all of these cars in action. And it's really rather cool. We're halfway off the track now and this is where the main sort of area is. You have huge stands at all the big uh, manufacturers like Alfa Romeo, with Romeo, 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 a bunch of people have huge stands here. Uh, and it's pretty fascinating, it's also one of these massive wheels. It's kind of like London Eye vibes right in the middle. Loads of food stands, you've got organic food, pizzerias, breakfast places. There's everything you need. And uh, overall, it's just a pretty cool place to hang out really. <laughs> Still time to try the link for yourselves. Thank you very much, Goodwood. See you very shortly. Yeah, Tom Reynolds after him. Tom, I said, go in the stars, go. We have a moment. Oh, God. Don't stop. Don't catch up. But every whisper. So I ask you once again, ladies and gentlemen, are you the best with speed? Would you please?
play here at Goodwood Show. It's absolutely mental. And that's how we round off the whole Goodwood tour. You've seen everything now. Thank you so much for watching as per usual. Goodwood itself is a show completely different to so many others. You can actually see bikes, planes, supercars, new releases, all in action. And that's what makes it different from other shows. And it's a pleasure to come here. An honor to be able to have my car displayed here. And yeah, overall it's just been fantastic. Hope you enjoyed. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. No Juliet.